Looking to protect your cards? Whether you need sleeves, deck boxes, binders, playmats, or even backpacks, Ultimate Guard has your collection covered. Literally. Premium products offering priceless protection. Visit ultimateguard.com. Welcome to a sealed event here in the Early Access event, so thank you to Wizards for letting me participate to preview the new expansion. Okay. Our rares, Yarok is one of the multiverse legends, so there's going to be a few more here. Triple Thrill Seeker, wow. Okay. Then niv Reborn, another legend. Archpriest. Let's have a look here. Start by sorting by rarity. Triple Thrill Seeker. And we even got uh, Valkyrie, so we've got both Valkyrie and Archpriest, the two rare backup creatures at 5 mana. Okay, those are both nice. Blukronos. Now the issue here is that despite the triple Thrill Seeker, our colors are pretty spread out. Not enough for me to want to play Niv-Mizzet necessarily, but it's going to boil down to whether the commons and uncommons are deep enough in certain colors. So let's just take a look one color at a time, starting with white. And already I'm not super excited by white. Could be a support color. We have some removal with cut short. We have double intercessor, which is pretty good. And then of course a Valkyrie. Don't love the creatures necessarily. In blue, we don't have a whole lot of excitement. Yeah, we've got some Pretty mediocre counter spells here. I do like the essence. That's definitely a, a good counter spell, being able to counter both creatures and battles. But don't like the refusal. Stasis field is also pretty mediocre removal. And some of these creatures are also nothing to write home about. Tidal Terror could be good. In black we have Agent, which I like. Berserker is good too. Timoret. Um, anything else? The Informant's good too. Vanquish the Weak, Deadly Derision. Alright, so we're probably playing black, just judging from these. Freewheelers, Decent, and of course Archpriest. Then Red has, of course, our Triple Thrill Seeker. Got some equipment. Reinforcement's good with Convoke. And then Dreadship. So black-red could be feasible. In green we've got a nice removal spell. Cosmic Hunger. Tracker's a good one. Instructor also a nice mana sink. We've got Polychronos, although triple green's kind of tough on the mana. And then Invasion in blue-white. We've got Sculpted Perfection for the black-white Phyrexian deck. Invasion of Lorwyn's potentially splashable, since we only need green pretty late in the game. Invasion of Amonkhet's nice too. And then a couple dual lands. And then of course Yarok, which is also quite good with our various ETB creatures, but also battles. And then if Mizzets, which is probably not going to happen here. Maybe if I had opened a bunch of Skittering Surveyors for mana fixing alongside all the dual lands we could have tried. But it doesn't seem to be the case. So let's zoom out. And uh, yeah, let's just take a quick look at how maybe black-red would look like. May play the Recycler. Revelations, fine, if not exciting. Could play the Gorilla. Deluge seems more like a sideboard card. The Shade is also filler. Vanquish and Derision are both great. Invasion of Aldraina might play, even though I'm not excited by it. Freewheeler we can also transform if we're black-red, don't need white mana for it. Field Conversion, a bit expensive but still fine. And yeah, I guess Yargle plus Thrill Seeker is kind of a combo. 
can deal 10 damage with it. So maybe we'll give that a shot. Then double Bane Splitter. Good if we have a low enough curve and some evasive creatures to put it on, maybe. So I'll maybe try one. Invasion of Mercadia is not bad. The Flame Rite is a pretty nice payoff for transforming it. Don't know if we have much need for the reinforcements since we don't really have any Convoke cards in our deck. Frontliner could maybe play it. Historian could be fine. Ren's Resolve could be a 2 for 1. Dreadships looks good. And then the Slasher. And let's see what else. Kite Sail could also be a way to give Yargle some evasion. And that's probably about it. So this has me making three more cuts to narrow this down. But yeah, we've got a curve, we've got creatures, we've got removal. So this is our splits of creatures and non-creatures. And even here there's a dread ship, which is sort of a creature. So yeah, this looks pretty decent. Thrill Seeker. Just a fine individual card, but has a couple synergies with cards like Yargle and some other high-powered creatures like the Dreadship. Invasion, I guess, not really a creature. And then a couple of creatures that can transform. Yeah, I guess the battles we should separate from the actual creatures, but that's fine. And then... Are there any other cards we could consider splashing? My mana fixing in black includes a Scoured Barons if we want to splash white and a Backwater if we want to splash blue. I don't think I'm playing these just on the off chance that I can activate like my Freewheeler or the uh, two mana agents. Like I'm not gonna include a blue-black dual land that enters tapped just to save myself two damage. I don't think that's worth it. If we had actual blue cards to cast, like maybe Invasion of Amoncat, I could consider it, but with only one Dismal Backwater as fixing, that's not enough. And if I have to add a bunch of islands to the deck, that's gonna make our mana base a lot worse. So I don't think it's worth it. But again, if we had Skittering Surveyor or two, I might have uh, considered it. So just double checking that we're not leaving out anything too amazing. So you yeah, had a Valkyrie, definitely a good one. And the two Intercessors in white. Don't think blue is all that great. And yeah, and green also seems like something we can go without. Could maybe consider splashing Invasion of Lorwyn off a Rugged Highlands, but I don't think we need it. And then we need to make a couple more cuts. So cards I'm considering cutting, Revelation, Drag Recycler, Frontliner should be good if we end up playing both battles. What do we think of Historian? That eh, should be good. We've got a few beefy creatures that wouldn't mind getting haste. Probably want to play the Rens Resolve. Yeah, Icker Shade seems like one of our weaker cards. Throne of Eldraine potentially. And then, yeah, as we said, we could potentially go 60 and land as well. I think I keep the kite sail. I think I'm happy with one bane splitter. And then I probably should not cut too many creatures, since we need those for the equipment to function. And Archpriest also wants us to have more creatures. So I think Invasion of Eldraine goes, even though I guess I have a few payoffs for attacking battles between the slasher and the uh, frontliner here. Don't know if that's enough of an incentive. Sealed tends to be a bit on the slower side compared to draft, so four mana discard two could still be playable, but we might struggle to transform it. Think shade is just a little bit too weak. Me yeah, also not a huge fan of the revelation in this deck, so that leaves drag recycler versus invasion or maybe a land. Don't have a ton of great sacrifice synergy. Already have thrill seeker that can make us sack creatures. So maybe I do play the Invasion, and it also gives me an extra incentive to play 17 land. Color distribution, pretty even. 
but we do need double black for Timurit. Also reason to play Swamp on turn 1, as a side note. In case we top deck a Timurit later in the game. Okay, I think this is the final build. So red-black aggro, triple Thrill Seeker. Let's give it a shot. The objective for this sealed run is to sacrifice Yargle to Thrill Seeker for 10 damage. If we can make that happen, I'll be happy. Could have played Swamp for Timurit, although I can play Historian on 2 now. Oh wow, turn 1 Ragavan. Good thing we have a 2-drop. This one's staying back on defense. And don't want a monkey hitting me. So probably just gonna play a land and pass. Fourth land is good. Best case scenario, our opponent tries to play some sort of uh, equipment on Ragavan or a pump spell. And then we get to vanquish it. Could potentially steal Ragavan if we transform more Freewheeler. If we manage to kill it first. Yeah, let's just kill the monkey now. At least they don't get any card advantage from the Warcrafting since they already played land for turn. Okay. So we're still looking at Ragavan or maybe Agent to get back with a Freewheeler here. Well, combo has been assembled. Could also just play Yargle and then try and clear a path for it next turn. I think we'll just hit for three, play Yargle. And hope it survives. What's the combo? The combo is Thrill Seeker, sacrifice Yargle to deal 10 damage. No, his second Warcrafting. What are the odds? Yargle down. Even had the kite sail to go with Yargle. We had everything and we lost everything now. Okay, so Ragavan versus probably the agents. You know, now that we have the kite sail, I'm kind of liking Ragavan. Ooh, that's gonna hit pretty hard. So let's see, I can hit for six. If I play Thrill Seeker first, then I'm hitting for eight, and then another six, so that should be lethal, right? Two counters, eight damage, points at five, sack for another six damage. But first we get to trigger Ragavan. All right. It's a lot of damage out of nowhere. Yeah, Thrill Seekers, pretty decent. Did we just get matched against the same opponent? There may not be enough people playing. All right, we've got a Keeper, I guess. Let's Thrill Seek. Could leave up a mana to potentially sack it, but if they have removal they probably kill it now. Yeah, Warcrafting thanks to the fixing from Urn. 
That's too bad. Yeah, I'm probably just playing Slasher so we can try and transform this right away. As opposed to Thrill Seeker, keep up a mana. Does Slasher survive? That is the question. Would love to get the uh, Flame Rite going. Okay, it's gonna be Brawl and Karizev. So I can play Invasion. Attack, hoping they don't have a cheap Convoke cut short. What's the alternative? And what to discard is another interesting question. Maybe it is a Thrill Seeker here. Keep this as a 2 for 1, keep this to answer Baral and Karizev. Okay. So now at least if they kill Slasher, I can play Thrill Seeker. Alright, that worked. This would have been a nice combo with the Thrill Seeker, getting to sack it for 9 damage potentially. But uh, yeah, let's just play Thrill Seeker. And then counter on itself probably makes the most sense. And then next turn we can convert Baral. It's going to be a Valduk. Do I want a gorilla? It's a way to get a Thrill Seeker back eventually, I suppose, sure. And then we can attack with Slasher, and that's it. Don't really want to trade Valduk and uh, Flame right here. Or I can just sack Thrill Seeker, kill Valduk, attack for 7. Now let's just play it conservatively. Five, five haste, so now we could maybe like chump and sacrifice, but nope. Just gonna take our turn. Now by activating the flame right, I also increased the thrill seeker's power. So there's some interesting sequences we can set up. If I play gorilla, I can activate this to give gorilla haste. Although that means discarding Ren's resolve. Could equip thrill seeker. Activate Flame Ride, get this up to 5 power, hit the opponent for 5, and then still sacrifice this to kill Charger. And I guess Slasher can also attack, and if they want to trade, that's fine. And then maybe even attack with the tokens too at this point. Since they're probably likely to double block Slasher. Alright. Yeah, they kind of have to block, because we're dealing 10 plus another 5 from Thrill Seeker. So at this point I could just go face, I could pass and do it next turn. Only missing out on potentially 1 damage. Okay. Invasion to pump Charger. They can transform it right away to make a couple tokens, but they don't fly. So, let's see here. I want to be mindful not to be tapped out of the Thrill Seeker's ability, but I could play Agent, Activate, Discarding Gorilla. But yeah, just attacking and sacrificing would also be enough. Sweet. Okay, no black mana is going to be a bit of a problem, I'm afraid. Rents Resolve, better if we cast it later in the game. So, this is going to be Mulligan. Alright, this curve is pretty high, 
So not loving this hand, but probably don't want to go to five either. And yeah, probably got to get rid of Yargol. Could argue that Yargol's likely to trade and then Archpriest can try and get it back. Definitely want to keep the Flyer to go with the Archpriest. And then Freewheeler can potentially curve out better. So we'll try this. Thrill Seeker. Would have been nice alongside Yargol. Eh, land is good. So probably go Guerrilla first and then wait on Thrill Seeker until we have spare mana. Put on Mills a few cards. Gets back just a Mastermind. So, knowing our opponent's got a Mastermind, how does it change things for us? Could still just play a Thrill Seeker as a 3-3. And if they kill it, I can maybe get it back with a Gorilla at some point. I guess we could have sequenced it in such a way that I can sack a 1-1 Thrill Seeker to kill Mastermind and have a 4-4 Gorilla left over. That also requires us to draw land. Alright, opponent kills it. So now we're just hoping to hit a couple more land drops. Eventually maybe back up on the gorilla to get back our Thrill Seeker. Also have a Menace Creature and a Kite Sail, so we have the evasion to set up Archpriest at least. Okay, land is good. So freewheeler versus double two drop. Probably freewheeler. And hit for two. Mill a couple more cards. Bonus got some nice cards. This is gonna be five mana and two life to transform. Could, of course, just uh, trade here for opponent offers. Don't have any two drops in my graveyard to get back. No two drops here either. Could also get back a land with it, technically. But if we have five mana, then I don't really need an extra land. Yeah, I'm tempted to trade. Okay, Berserker's interesting. So I could put counter on Guerrilla attack past the Mastermind. And then still play Frontliner. And then we'll also be able to sacrifice Berserker to draw. Don't want to draw my turn because of the Mastermind. Refusal. Okay, so they get to draw to end this card. At least they didn't get to counter anything with it. And now the coast may be clear for Archpriest if we can hit a land. Okay. I think we spread out the wealth a little bit. Although I guess there is a minus two, minus two they could have technically. Doesn't seem like they have that card in hand. And they could also technically sack to do minus six, minus six. That worked. And get back. Freewheeler versus Thrill Seeker. Both are nice. This one's more expensive. Is it better though? Yeah. I guess we'll grab a freewheeler. Mill three more cards. Opponent's got their own. And now an agent to maybe get back with it as well. A lookout is online. Plenty of fuel for Timurets. So we can conversion to clear a path for the Archpriests. Mastermind attacks. Okay. Ooh, 
That should do it. On the play, missing red. But we can make some plays. Okay, Vanquish is nice. Um, yeah, let's play Ether Blade. Is this the one mana mill to gain to? Ooh, also Lith. Okay. Am I gonna have to keep up Vanquish the week? Probably still fine to play Informants. And hopefully find red mana soon. Although next turn I could transform Agent, which would have been maybe a reason to keep up Vanquish, kill their creature, and then connect. Aha, uh -huh, I see. That's the trick they were holding. So also this is going to take over if our opponent plays a kind of a longer game. Opponent passes with three mana, so this could be um, cut short to destroy a tapped creature. So I don't really want to transform agent. If that's the case, could just cast Rent's Resolve, although I may not be able to cast everything at Exiles. Yeah, tricky spot. I think we just send the informants. Alright, at least I'll be able to play Mountain and Bane Splitter next turn. Skywarden. So now the coast is clear for us to transform agents and connect. Which may be worth it. Even if they pump Skywarden with Ozolith, it's still a 4 4, so it still dies to conversion. Opponent's still pausing here, so I'm not sure what they're holding for one white mana. I guess it could be the Convoke Flying Trick, in which case it would still be like a 2 for 1 trade, I suppose. All right, so they're gonna make us play the Bane Splitter, and then interesting hexproof prevent all damage that blind wrestlers would deal to creatures you control. Okay. Still got to draw. Now they could of course still kill this now that it's tapped. But we got to draw a card. If they add counters, I have to decide whether I want to invasion, make them discard, or if I want to take care of the Sky Warden while we still can. This luckily still draws if we damage battles, so it could be good with invasion. Slinger's fine. It's two counters, pretty nice. So, yeah, now. Conversion makes more sense. As we get to connect with our creature as well. Okay, there's a Yargle. I guess if we draw here, we do get to potentially do both next turn. Okay, and then can play Berserker counter on itself, or I can hang on to it. So they could make a 4-4 Slinger, which we wouldn't be able to vanquish anymore. Another Sky Warden. Alright, so seems like a good spot for Invasion to empty their hands. Yeah, if I attack our opponent's trading, which I guess at this point is fine. Invasion and then kill Slinger in response to an Ozolith activation. Alright, they had some nice ones. Could 
Could also go for the battle in case they give it to me. But I doubt it. Okay, and then we're setting up our Splinter Twin here, Historian into Yargol. If they don't draw a creature here, we're good to go. Not quite the Thrill Seeker combo I was hoping for, but I'll take it. <laughs> nice. This hand's not great. Need to draw a couple of lanes, but we're on the draw. Is your opponent companioning a Yorion? Oh boy. So the 60 card special. Being aggressive is probably our best chance. And then Historian into a hasty Thrill Seeker. We might live the dream and get like an 8 powered slasher by attacking a battle and then sack it to a Thrill Seeker. Alright, that's uh, pretty good. Do we have the kite sail to fly over? So we've got a we've got a game plan. Just gonna try and get in some early damage and then fly over to close out the game. Would love to draw land next turn. The suspense is killing me. Opponent passes, so they can make a 4 4 at instant speed. Did not draw the land, sadly. Kite sails 2 to play, 2 to equip. So, just a hasty gorilla. Opponent makes a 4 4. Do they also have the flying trick, perhaps? Or just a cut short? Fair enough. Um, don't really want to do anything here since we want to draw land. Invasion of Zendikar. Yeah, nice. We're in trouble. Opponent gets to transform right away. Get a bunch of lands, and the uh, Yorion is looking quite scary. At least it doesn't have reach. Now a hasty slasher is not looking quite as good. Could play slasher and then next turn try and give it flying. Could fly the Thrill Seeker right now. Make him discard too, feels kind of weak. Or I could play a freewheeler. Although Slasher might have more upside. Can also threaten to trade. Could of course give it haste to kind of force the issue here. But I think we want to preserve it to eventually give flying with a kite sail. <laughs> okay, I guess we're dead. If only we had an act of treason in the deck. Alright, GG's. I think we've met our match here. Can see what they were holding. And this one's not great, so I guess uh, playing 60 cards for Yorion does come with a few drawbacks. Yeah, the only realistic sequence was maybe get a second black source and then we have our removal spell for Galta. But without two black sources, that's just not going to happen. I 
and a fencer. Make another 4-4. Four, four. There's the Argyll, can't even cast it. Alright, let's just pass and let them uh, close out the game. Do we see the vampire mode? Nope, just another dino. Alright, our hand seems functional. Just missing our Thrill Seeker to go with the Argyll. I do have a Timurit in the deck, which is reason to play Swamp on one. But we've got a few other options as well. Put on blue-green, so Death Touch should be good. All right, there's our Thrill Seeker. Play Informant first. Cryptomancer could have maybe saved from a Vanquish the Week. So they've got four mana already. Don't know if I can hang on to Thrill Seeker until after we play Yargle. Gonna require me to play kind of awkwardly. That's a nice combo. Tracker untapping a land making two mana. So they can make a 2-2. Two -two. Or just play an invasion. Okay. Kept two cards on top. But they could not uh, get an extra card of invasion at least. So, yeah, I think we wait on Thrill Seeker, or do we? If I just play Thrill Seeker here, could put counters on Informants, attack for three or keep it back, could pass and keep up Vanquish, and then next turn go Agent plus Invasion. Yeah, I'll try and hang on to the Thrill Seeker, Let's see how that goes. They did also keep the next card on top. Aerialist is a good one. So I probably want to vanquish in response to them transforming it. I'm going to remove a counter here. Uh, let's see, this is 4 mana, so I guess they wouldn't be transforming it right now. And this one can essentially hit for three going forward. Probably still killing the aerialists. That one's nice. Hmm, what do I discard to my invasion is the question. I guess what I could try to do is invasion discarding Yargul, and hear me out. We can use the Archpriest to get back Yargul later for free, so we don't have to pay 5 mana for it. Are we all in agreement? And then Agents could be a good target for Archpriest potentially. Tandem Takedown is what they kept on top, Death Touch are gone. So hopefully they attack. Hmm, I guess if they finish off the battle, they get a creature on defense. So we don't quite get to connect with Archpriest like we would like. Yeah, I guess we let that happen and then conversion. I guess this has ward. So that's not quite going to work. So maybe I should jump and then conversion the negotiator. 
and then they can use a tracker to ping the battle to death but that's gonna take them a while because they also have the token still yeah that's not ideal So yeah, what happens if I conversion the negotiator? And then our opponent's probably still keeping something back to protect the battle. And I kind of need them to be without blockers so I can set up my Archpriest. Or I can play Archpriest now as a 5-5 and it will block quite well. Just won't get that immediate hit to get a Yargle back. I think we're still on the Yargle plan. Another Thrill Seeker and a Historian. Historian giving Archpriest haste could be good, I suppose. So let's say we play Historian next turn, can haste a Thrill Seeker, and then turn after maybe hasty Archpriest. All right, let's give it a shot. But if the coast is clear for Archpriests on Informant, of course, we can go for it. So they left Tracker back, which could jump on Archpriest if we put counter on Informant. So giving Archpriest haste with backup would be a lot more exciting. So let's see here, Historian and then Thrill Seeker can put counters on Informant and then Thrill Seeker I guess doesn't help all that much against Trample to like chump and sacrifice. And I kind of want them to attack, so the coast is clear for Archpriest. So I think the best course of action might be Historian into Thrill Seeker. Give Thrill Seeker hastes. Because I want to be basically tapped out so the 2 2 attacks as opposed to staying back when we can just block it with a Historian. Or I can Thrill Seeker put counters on Historian. Does that make more sense? Because then I would have a 3-5 a which can block Slaphorn. That's also an option. Just going to make it harder to set up our Archpriest plan. So this up to a 3-5. Next turn a 4-6. They could still double block it. Yeah, let's try this plan. Haste the Thrill Seeker. Attack with both. And I guess I could go after the battle as well. In which case our opponent's chumping Thrill Seeker for sure. And then I could Thrill Seeker finish off the battle. Or they could chump Informant here. Although if we transform this, then... Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, they could have also used a tracker to put more counters on the battle, I suppose. But now I'm hopefully tempting them into attacking, although they might leave blockers back for the invasion. We'll see. Combining Archpriest with Thrill Seeker could also be fun, because then we're dealing Death Touch damage. But yeah, this is perfect. Take six. And hopefully... And we get to Archpriest here. Counter on Thrill Seeker. Give it haste. And then let's leave Informant back. As a blocker here, just in case. Get back Yargle, get back Agent, and then next turn Thrill Seek Yargle for the win. At least that's the hope. Because of Ward I couldn't sack Thrill Seeker to finish off the 4-4. Do we get to live the dream one time? Yes, let's go. I guess their point's still at 18, so they're not quite dead on board. But uh, 
see here, can give Thrill Seeker haste. Could have also, I guess, just activated the Flame Rite, but then I didn't have the land to sack Yargle. So, sure, let's give this haste and attack all out. And then I just need to get seven damage in. Yeah, I'm sure this is fine. No math. And the finishing blow, courtesy of Yargle. Even more counters, too many counters. There we go. Awesome. Mission accomplished. Had a lot of great options there in the last turn or two. Hmm, the no black mana Timur at opening hands is a bit sus. Is that another Yorion Companion? It sure is. We lost to the last Yorion Companion, so... Let's see if we can do better. Seems like a keep. Missing double black for Derision. Kinda wanna keep the two drop. Maybe Slasher goes. Keep Freewheeler, which can get back Frontliner eventually. Could also just keep all my threats. So we're looking at turn two Frontliner. No turn three play, and then a freewheeler into maybe Yargle. Ooh, the uh, four color special, Thrill Seeker is a good draw. Put counter on itself or on Frontliner. Since we don't have the mana to sack Frontliner, I think I just hit for two, play Thrill Seeker as a 3 3. Might be a cut short incoming. That was definitely the reason I didn't want to go for it. We have more Thrill Seekers we can draw later to combo with Yargle, hopefully. Yorion in hands. Okay. Well, Yargle could hit like a truck here if we can clear a path with Derision. Speaking of, opponents got their own. Could also get back the Kite Sail with Flash Wheeler to give Yargle flying. Okay. Take four. Okay, Archpriest was quite the draw. Kind of a close call here. I guess we'll put it on Thrill Seeker so it can deal 4 damage later. And probably want to flyer. So now we've got removal for Yorion potentially. Yeah, Archpriest is one of the better rares in the set for sure. Conversion to finish it off, but we got our value. Geoderm still attacking. Maybe our opponent knows something we don't. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, they just seem dead on board here. If we attack all out and sack Thrill Seeker, could even transform Freewheeler if we'd like. Sadly, no Yargle this game. Yeah, Thrill Seeker keeps on impressing. All right, we're on the play, and sure. Just need a third land, I guess. A Dread Ship would have been better if we had a two-powered two-drop, so we can hit for four right away. I'm 
And there's Yargol. Hopefully we can find a land. Alright, hasty thrill seeker it is. And then if it survives, we can maybe play hasty dreadship, we'll see. It does not survive. Putting counters on Historian was also an option, but then we would not have the ability to sack a large creature afterwards. Now, uh, probably go for Dreadship over Agents. And then next turn I could maybe Agent and transform the token as well. Sadly, don't have enough power to crew it. So I could hit for one and take two back. I think we're happy turning this into a race when we have maybe Yargol hitting for 9 out of nowhere. Kind of want the opponent to tap their creatures. Alright, that one's pretty good since they can jump with a 1-1. One, one. Opponent hangs back anyway. And now I probably want to resolve to try and hit my land drops. There we go. Can make a 2-2. Two, two. Probably no reason to send in the Dreadship when they have a 1-1 to block it. Yeah, it's going to be tough to connect with Yargol. Take two. Play land from exile. Opponent's got a bunch of mana up. They could be holding all sorts of instants with Convoke. Hasty Yargle just trades for the opponent's stuff, assuming no interaction. Yeah, don't have any amazing options. Could transform agents. Still trades for the opponent's stuff. Could conversion the flyer and keep digging, I suppose. Although that also feels kind of like a waste. This is 4 mana, I guess we could transform agent and animate the incubator token. Yeah, I mean, I guess if they trade for both creatures we can a clear path for Yargol, so maybe that's fine. But I'm guessing they have some instant speed removal. And then there's no point in sending in the ship, or is there? I guess I could animate the ship, send ship and the uh, Mind Stinger, and then if they double block Mind Stinger, ship connects. But assuming some removal here, that's not going to work out great. And I want to put Historian in harm's way since we need haste on Yargle. Is this a pump spell? Plus one, plus so oh first strike. Nope, just a draw spell. Okay, that worked out, I guess. Bone's got a lot of cards in hand. So that's the scary part. Invasion dealing three to everything. Okay, that's too bad. No hasty Yargle. So just a vanilla Yargle. Hopefully we can kill their only creature. That's a lot of blockers, oh no. Yeah, this seems like a tough matchup for Yargle unless we draw a kite sail right now. Never mind, Spoon's got flying too. Although now they are left with only one blocker, so that kind of worked out in a weird way. So now we're just a thrill seeker away from killing them. Archpriests, hmm. Archpriest is one of our best cards, but 
I don't foresee myself connecting with it necessarily, so maybe I just have to keep digging for Thrill Seeker. Or maybe I keep Archpriest anyway. Although our opponent gets to transform this next turn. I have a 4 4 back, bunch of flyers that are killing me. Slasher does have menace, but I just don't think we have time to play Slasher first and then Archpriest. So it's either bottom Archpriest, dig for Thrill Seeker, or keep Archpriest just because it's a powerful card, basically. I think we have to just go for Broke and hope to find our two remaining Thrill Seekers. And hope they don't kill Yargle, because they can try and chump it. And... I don't know if there's a reason to hang on to my lands. Yeah, we've got two Thrill Seekers in 22 cards, so we're definitely not favorites. So 4-4, four, four. if they cast a spell, we take two. Another Storm Sculptor, yeah. Archpriest would not have done much. Gorilla. Oh boy. If this dies, we get Thrill Seeker back. But I don't know if I can survive at 9 life. There's only one way to find out, I guess. I would love for them not to present lethal and let me chump with a gorilla. But the two damage is gonna add up quickly. Okay. We would have been pretty close to another Thrill Seeker, too. Alright, no removal for Yargle, please. Can pay for the conditional counterspell. Opponents piecing it together, maybe. Agar's fine. And Bruiser's fine. Alright, I think we somehow got there. Awesome perfect way to end this game. Nice. That was satisfying. Got to seven wins. But for now, wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.